Praise the Lord. My, we come to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ here at the Gospel Barn here on the Church of the Air Broadcast. Your host, Sister Bobby Gurley. We're glad that you could join us today. My, we covet your prayers. We want to talk to you a little bit what the Lord's laid on our heart. But before we go any further, we'd like for you to pray for us that the Lord would anoint us. Because without his anointing, his spirit, we could do nothing. We'd be a failure. But pray for us. We covet your prayers. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, as we come before thee, God, Lord, we ask, Lord, that you come, Lord, and minister, Lord, unto the needs of the people, God. Let this reach out, Lord, save them that's lost and undone, Lord. Heal the sick and the blind and the crippled lame, Lord. And them's bound by the devil and things of this world, set them free, Lord. Oh, the backslider, Lord, them that's grown cold, let them come back to thee before it's too late, Lord. I hope and pray, God, through your anointing, your spirit, Lord. God, use this, O piece of clay, God, for thy glory and thy will, Lord. Lord, to help your people, Lord, we ask, Lord, that you bless my brother and sister out there, strength to lift up and encourage, make them whole, God. Oh, God, let them keep fighting a good fight of faith, Lord. We ask it all, Lord, in the lovely, holy name of Jesus, Lord, and all glory and all praise and all honor goes unto thee, for we ask it all in the lovely name of Jesus, amen. My, if you have your Bibles. And you want to turn with us, by we'll be going to Ephesians uh, 6 chapter, starting off with the 10th through the 19th verse. But I just want to talk to you out there, this children of God. My, we, every child of God's going through it nowadays, uh, whether it's spiritually, physically, financially, or mentally. My, we've been oppressed on every hand. But the Lord is soon coming back, Brother Rick. It is my, I hope, pray that the Lord help me tonight that I can encourage you. Uh, but if I had a title, now it'd be fight. Uh, my, I seem like God's people. I know we're tired and weary, but we're not home yet, church. Uh, we got to keep fighting a good fight of faith. Uh, hallelujah. But seeming like someone's been beat down, seem like they might just, you know, like boxers, you know, when they get to boxing, they fight one another. That's in the flesh. But what we got to realize uh, my in this world that we live in we're in the flesh uh, but my we can't fight the devil and his uh, imps of hell my by the flesh it's got to be spiritual uh, that's the reason why the children of God need to be saved sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost uh, but we're living in a time uh, hallelujah that we need to put on the whole armor of God and as the Lord begin to deal with me with this to talk to the people about uh, Oh, that my people's beginning to quit fighting the good fight of faith. See, the devil's whipped them around and just begin to listen, just lay down. And what bothers me is the Lord begin to deal with me with this message here. How that some of God's people's beginning to take their arm off instead of putting it on. But I want to encourage you to put that arm on and fight the good fight of faith. Don't take it off. But in Ephesians, we want to go to the Word of God. My, before we get ahead of ourselves, but in Ephesians 6 chapter uh, 10 through the 19th verse reads like this. Uh, Paul said over there to the Ephesian people, he said, finally my brethren, be strong in the Lord uh, and in the power of his might. Uh, he didn't say put on just a little bit of the armor, uh, but put on the whole armor of God uh, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles uh, of the devil. Uh, and if you don't know what wiles, that's his tricks, uh, his cunning ways, his deceiving ways. Uh, but oh, in the 12th uh, verse there, it says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Listen, uh, it's spiritual. Uh, and on this way, we can defeat him. putting on the whole armor of God is through the spirit. Uh, Thank God for we that's the same sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Listen to me, church. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. It's not this day evil. We in the last days. We're in the evil days. And having done all to stand. Stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth. And having on the breastplate of righteousness. 
and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, listen to me, above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Listen, it didn't say a little bit of the darts, or just a few, but we need to take the shield of faith in mind that you'll be able to quench all, A-L-L, -L, the fiery darts of the wicked. And I'm afraid a lot of people begin to let their shield down. Instead of putting the armor on, they begin to take a lot of it off. That's the reason why we begin to get weak. Oh, but we, we got to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his mind. Except he, verse 8, take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Oh, and we got to keep this put the whole armor of God. You've got to keep fighting. And not only that, but praying always with all prayer and supplications in the Spirit and when, when watching down to with all perseverance. Oh, listen, supplicate for all saints. Listen, here's what Paul, and for me that utterance may be given unto me that I may open your, open my, that I may Open my mouth boldly uh, to make known the mystery uh, of the gospel. Uh, oh, and I want to tell you, keep fighting. Uh, you know, I was thinking back my um, old oh, years ago when I was going to school and I'd see others. Uh, you'd always have bullies in school. Uh, they'd push others around. They'd bully them around. Uh, and as long as they take it, uh, oh, they keep it up. they just put more and more upon them. Uh, but I'm talking about the flesh now. But I've been bullied my bullies uh, till I got tired of it. Uh, when I got tired of it, uh, I fought back. Uh, and when I fought back, uh, I seen that they weren't as bully as big as I thought. Uh, hallelujah. And that's what I don't get over to you today. I'm not saying go out here physically fight somebody. No. Uh, but this is a spiritual warfare. Uh, but you got to put on the whole armor of God. Uh, oh, spiritually speaking, you got to fight the devil. Uh, God did give us uh, a spirit of fear, uh, but a power in the blood of a sound man. Oh, listen to me. If the devil hollers boo, turn around and holler boo back at him. Oh, notice on this whole armor of God, God gave you protection for the front. He didn't give no protection for the back. Listen to me out there. He didn't intend for his people, his soldiers of the cross, his soldiers in his army to turn around and run from the enemy. He meant for us to hit him head on and face him head on. Listen to me. My God's give us power over the devil. Put on the whole armor of God. But as God began to deal with me this, with this I begin to look and think and I've been there too where the devil's knocked me down. But oh and I begin to take off a little bit of the armor. But it's time to put on the whole armor of God. We need it all. I said we did it all to become strong in God. And if anybody ever had, I believe, the full armor of God on while he was down here in this world, it was old Paul. Hallelujah! He was had the whole armor of God on. And he knew Brother Rick had, had the fight, had the fight the fight of faith. Amen. He didn't run from no enemy. My, he went through a lot. Oh, you hear people. Oh, I, I was telling somebody today, one of the enemies of the devil that he hits us with and try to get us feeling sorry for ourselves. But I'm here to tell you, I want to encourage you to be strong in the Lord. You said, oh, but this and that. Listen to me. Paul said, through Christ Jesus, that strengthened me. I can do all things. I know we can't do it with himself, but if we've been saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, he's given us some power right, and some armor to fight the devil. My mind goes back to James 4 and 7. It said, submit yourself therefore to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. 
Oh, listen to me. I'm trying to help you, saints of God. We need to be strong in the Lord. And if you expect to make it through this walk's life and fight against the devil and overcome and to be an overcomer, you've got to put on the whole armor of God. Don't run from him. Run at him. In the name of Jesus. Glory. But oh, listen to me. It's time to fight. Hallelujah. It's time to fight. Oh, there's so many Christians today. The devil hollers boo and they run. Oh, and there's so many. Hallelujah. Wanting to submit yourself to the devil and resist God. That don't work that way. You've got to submit yourself, therefore, to God. Resist the devil. And he will flee from you. That's a promise. God's word does not lie. Listen to me out there. I want to see you go to heaven. I want to see you make it. Oh, there's no time to quit, brother and sister. Brother Regan, it's time to press on. Persevere. Hallelujah. That means my keep fighting. Be stubborn about it. I'm going to be stubborn like a no mule. I'm going to fight that devil. In the name of Jesus. I know over there in the New Testament. Hallelujah. He told the disciples and sent them out. My go out. My give the power of all the things. And they come back rejoicing. Oh, he told me, he said, Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy and nothing shall by enemy hurt you but oh they was rejoicing because the devil and his demons and these spirits were subject unto them they cast out devils and hit the sick they laid hands on them God was dealing and God was healing God was working through them but oh he said rejoice not because the spirits are subject unto you but rejoice because your names are written in heaven. Woo! That's the reason why we get battled. The devil's been in heaven. He knows what it's like. Hallelujah. No hope for him. But brother and sister, there's still hope for me and you. Get up from there. Listen to me. Are you listening? Get up from there. Quit feeling sorry for yourself. Start putting that whole armor of God back on. Put it on. Don't take it off. And don't turn your back on the enemy. Woo! Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. I tell you, with my wife, I can be stubborn. Ask her. Sometimes I can be stubborn. And I want to be that way. With the devil. I want to fight him. The devil may knock me down. But as far as he's going to knock me down to my knees. Then if I have to. I'll call on my elder brother. His name's Jesus. Hallelujah. But you know something? Oh, the just may fall seven times. But they're going to rise again. Woo! Hallelujah! Put on the horn. Fight, 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 fight! Hallelujah. Never forget when I was coming up. If you whoop me today, you'd have to whoop me tomorrow. If you whoop me tomorrow, you'd have to whoop me the next day. I keep fighting. Him and I, that was in the flesh. But now, I'm talking about spiritually. I've seen people try to fight this good fight of faith, carnality. You can't do it. It takes the Spirit of God, it takes God in you. Amen. It takes uh, being saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I want to go now and listen. Like I said, this is not no fleshly thing. It's a spiritual thing. Oh, and I want to go right now if I may. Pray for us. Second Corinthians. If I don't read number scripture now, I want to get this over, let you know I'm coming from the Word of God, the old King James Version. Second Corinthians, 10th chapter, 4th verse. I done told you, this fight is not carnal or fleshly, it's spiritual. But we got Jesus. Said, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Oh, listen now. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. But mighty 
Through who? But mighty through God. To whom? A pulling down of strongholds. Oh, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. But mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. I, I want you to know I, when we put on God, I, when we I, get God in our lives, I, God will be with us. I, God will help us. I, God will give us weapons I, to fight the enemy. I, woo! Yeah. But we got to put them on. That's, right. That's like in regular combat. Sure. You see soldiers put on helmets. Protected shield, carrying weapons, all of this. They going out to battle. That's in the flesh, but it's spiritual wise. We got to be spiritual. Hallelujah. We got to be soldiers of the cross. We got to put on our armor to fight the devil. We're in the warfare. And we're going to fight the devil until we lay down. Till God calls us out of this walks of life. Or till he splits the eastern sky. But I'd rather be fighting for God any day. And lay down my armor. We got to fight to fight. We got to fight the good fight of faith. Oh, listen. And I want to go. If I may. There's an armor armor provided in their spiritual armor and it's in scripture main thing if you expect be a soldier of the cross and put on the armor of God we got to live right you can't live with one way one day for the Lord and the next day try to hang on to the world and live for the devil Dad, you're not putting on the whole armor of God that way but I hope and pray and Brian bringing out some of these scriptures if I have time to bring them all out that I can help you. But the Lord wants you to be strong in him. In him. And oh, listen here. Romans, I believe it is. 13th chapter. Listen here. I can't bring in all scriptures. I ain't got time. But we're going to talk about spiritual armor. I done read over there. It covers it pretty well. In Ephesians 6, chapter 10 through 19. But this is some other scriptures I wanted to bring in. Romans 13 and 12, spiritual armor. Listen here. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness. And let us put on the armor of light. Do you know that armor of light? You know what that's talking about? Jesus is that light. Woo! I feel this. Jesus, he la 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 my satire is that light. When I put on that armor of Jesus, that light. Oh, oh, and I got that light, Jesus. And I got his blood, his royal blood flowing in my veins spiritually. Holy, the devil has to back up. When he sees the blood, I believe he runs. Woo! Amen. I heard Shambach, and he can't cross the bloodline. If he could cross the blood, he'd be calling me brother. Amen, but he can't cross it. But that's one armor, the armor of light. I can stay on that for a while. But oh, listen to me. Don't take that armor off. I know I, I, a lot of people I know is out there listening. And I know I'm talking to myself. First goes to me and others. But it's time. Quit taking that armor off. I bet you begin to put it back on. You say, oh, brother, can I have done this? I listen. Oh, I quoted it while old Joseph off seven times. But if you don't get a hold of God, shake yourself. Yeah. Hallelujah. You're going to rise again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Let's go now to 2 Corinthians. Here's another spiritual armor. 2 Corinthians 6 and 7. 6 chapter 7 verse. It says, by the word of truth. By the word of truth. By the power of God. I want to stop there just a minute.
Praise the Lord. By the word of truth, by the power of God. And I think about the truth, the word. That's the way you whip the devil. And I think over there, I think it's Psalms 119, chapter 11, verse. It says, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not see it against thee. And over to Hebrews 4 and 12 said, For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the mind, of the heart. Yes. Woo! That word of God! Yes. That is your weapon! Yes, it is. <laughs> Slice him. Slice that old devil. Yes. Hallelujah! Oh, but we go on down to the seventh verse. By the word of truth and by the power of God, here's another armor. By the armor of righteousness. Yes. Why would you talk right way of living? Living a righteous and a holy and a pure life pleasing to God and not man. Right. By the armor of righteousness on the right hand and on the left hand. Amen. Righteousness. That's another armor. Our time's going. But oh, you pray for us. I hope I'm saying something to help somebody out there. Oh, First Thessalonians 5 and 8 reads like this. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith in love. And for an helmet, the hope of salvation. Oh, let's go back. Oh, we're talking about spiritual armor. Oh, put, but let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for an helmet, the hope of salvation. Hallelujah. I tell you, there's a lot of religion going out there. A lot of things going to people worship. A lot of things are not God. There's a lot of religion. But I'm glad that I've got salvation. It's time, beloved, to put on the whole armor of God. Shake yourself. If you're out there, you're on the verge of giving up. I don't you. I beg you. My, get a hold of God. Get wherever you at. Get down on your knees and say, God, let me fight. Let me fight the good fight of faith. Let me hold on to the horns of the altar. Let me look to Jesus. Hold on, brother and sister. Jesus is soon coming. Amen. Oh, he's coming. Fight, 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 fight. Hallelujah. I played a little football in my lifetime, and I used to love to run the ball. I used to love to see how many it would take to tackle me. Hallelujah. I see them, they get around me, and I drag them sometimes. Some of them hit me pretty hard. They, I didn't drag them, but I got knocked down. But all oh, there's a lot of times I'd go through that line. And oh, they called me Little Dynamite. But I want you to know, I want to persevere for my Lord. Oh, I want to be stubborn. If the devil says, stop, boy, stop, I want to just drag his teeth out. Amen. But you know, he ain't got no teeth. Old Shambach said over 2,000 years ago, Jesus pulled them on Calvary. Amen. He goes around. That's the reason why he goes around like a roaring lion, seeking, seeking who he made of eye. Jesus pulled his teeth, Brother Shambach said, over 2,000 years ago. All he can do is roar. Oh, all he do is just go. Me, try to gum you to death. Amen. Amen. Yes. But I tell you, God, Jesus is coming after people that's ready. God is looking for men and women to be soldiers of the cross. God is looking for somebody that he can work through and use to help others. And sometimes we own the birds of being used by God so mighty we don't realize it. Right. And the devil knows it too. Sure. 
and we yield our best of the hands to yield it to God. God's got to work for all of us. I've seen the power of God work. I just seen him work the other day. Hallelujah. Oh, my brother, I seen God come down. He was so weak. Couldn't hold his little hands up. Well, he's still a pretty big man, but he's losing weight. But I see God come down. The devil would like to keep him down. My Lord, the power of God hit him. Next thing you know, he had his hands up. Next thing you know, the Spirit of God, the Holy Ghost, just took him over. And he was speaking that heavenly language. And what I love about it, when the Holy Ghost comes down and starts speaking to a person, the devil don't know what they say. It's called back to the Father. Woo! I can just see the old devil there. Oh, I'm, I can't understand what oh, oh. yes. But we've got power yes. in the name of Jesus yes. over the devil. Sure. In the book of 1 John I was reading today, over there in 1 John somewhere, I never got what chapter it was, but he's talking about greater. We're no match for them, but we got Jesus Christ in us. Right. And we that's been saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost. You've got power over him yes. in the name of Jesus. Amen. But in John there, it said, greater is he that is in me than he that is in this world. Amen. 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 And I want you to know God knows every heart. It is good to lay down of the night. Know I'm a child of God. Right. It's good when the devil said, it's not going to happen. I tell the devil in the Messiah, in the name of Jesus, it's going to happen. Amen. Oh, I done learned when the devil hollers boo at me, I look at him and start grinning and say, boo, boo back at you, devil. Yes. Amen. Oh, oh, for God hath not given us a spirit of fear. I don't put it, but a power of love in himself, man. There's no fear in love. The perfect love cast that fear, yes, because fear hath torment. Right. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. Right. We love him because he first loved us. Yes, I don't know about you. The Lord that helping me here has just made me more determined. I'm going to fight. I'm going to fight like I've never fought before. And I ain't got no saddle up here for the devil to ride. But I'm trying my best to put on the whole armor of God. Like I said before, you ain't got no armor for your back. God don't intend for you to lay down or run from the devil. Amen. I tell you, I don't know about you, but I learned a long time ago, even with old mean dog, if I'm out there walking the roads, I've learned not to turn my back on him. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And I tell you, I'm not going to turn my back on the devil. Hallelujah. What I love about it when you get to pray for somebody and the devil tells you, say, stop that. And what I love about it when you start pleading the blood of Jesus, he'll say, don't say that. Amen. I can't stand that. Oh, he does the wrong thing when he does me like that. I begin to plead the blood of Jesus. That's much more. And I tell you, when I get to the point, sure there's time in our lives we get weak and down. Because in Hebrews 12 and 12, it said, Wherefore lift up the hands which hang down in the feeble knees. But this is something I'm trying to help somebody with. Get out from there. My God, let's be strong in the Lord. And I want to tell you something. If anybody had, I really believe. The whole armor of God, Paul had it. Oh, we think we go through a lot. You read about what all Paul went through. You read about it. Oh, when his departure, when it come in in time for Paul's journey down here in this walks of life, he was ready to go. And by all indications, I tell you, I believe I'd love to be like a man like Paul. I believe every morning when he would get up, the devil would say, oh, my God, he's up again. <laughs> oh, Paul's up again. <laughs> but here, listen here. Oh, Paul, 2 Timothy, 4th chapter, 6 through the 8th verse. For I am now ready to be offered. Paul done what God called him to do. And his knew his time was short. 
in this walk's life. For I am now ready to be offered in the time of my departure is at hand. I want to be like this. If I go by the way of the grave or if I go to meet him in the air, I want to be like Paul in these sayings. He said, I have fought a good fight. Keep fighting that good fight of faith. He said, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. And not to me only, listen to what he said, but unto all them also that love his appearing. My Lord, my God, you can be like Paul. All it does is take the knee route, putting on the whole armor, God being true to God. And did you not know if you like one armor to be put on, if you'll pray and seek God, live for God, God will give it to you. He said, ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened. Oh, you say, well, people just don't know what I'm going through. God does. Yes, he does. I tell you, I've seen a lot of people. They make some of the strongest soldiers. It got, seems like they got the whole armor of God on. And it seems like they're so close to God. And a lot of people say, oh, they're so close to God. They don't have battles like me. Oh, yes. But I believe with all my heart, them people like Paul, sure. look at how close he was to God. Right. Look at what all he went through. Yeah. Hello, have you been stoned five times? Left for dead one time? Probably was dead. Yes. Been beaten thrice with rods. That's about three times, ain't it? Been shipwrecked. Been naked, poor. And all this other that added on to him. He said, besides all the cure, all the load of the church. My Lord, he had several places he had to go see about. I pastored one time one church. My Lord, but be in charge of a bunch of people, a bunch of places. Paul was a good man. Yes. What about you? I hope and pray. I don't know if my time's out or not. I hope and pray that we said something to help each and every one of you. But I don't know about you, but me, if the Lord giving me this. It's made me stronger, but I covet your prayers, Brother Riggett, Sister Bobby. I want to make it. Yes. And we got to pray one for another. Yes, we Amen. We love.